Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna be reviewing a Jeep Gladiator because the Gladiators have some of the biggest discounts that I have ever seen in the car industry. Before we get into this video though, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Car Malone Dodge Ram here in Heber, Utah for giving me some time with this Gladiator. I'll include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then I do wanna mention, as of the time that this video will post, there'll be basically the day that you watch this video to still get the deal that I'll talk about on the Gladiators. So if you're interested, I'm not trying to like rush any of you, but I don't know if the discount will continue into next month, if that makes sense. So we'll put that in too. Anyways, let's just get into it. Under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 3.6 liter V6 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy 17 around town and then 22 on the highway with power outputs being 285 horsepower and then 260 pound feet of torque. Before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So I've already reviewed quite a few Gladiators, especially the 2023 model years, which this one is, but I wanna quickly show some cool things about this particular Gladiator. So this one's finished in the cool green color. Pretty sure it's called Sarge Green. And it's got the Mojave package, so you can see the orange recovery points there. You also have this little bash plate here on the front end. And then you've got these 33 inch tall mud terrain tires, or at least they look like that. Yeah, they're mud terrain tires, I was gonna say. Blacked out wheels. We've got Fox shocks as well with the Mojave package. You can see Mojave there on the side. You've got the nice painted fender flares. And then you can see with the rock rail protection here. And then we do have Fox shocks in the back as well. And I mean, when you put it all together, I think that it makes the Gladiator look pretty cool. And then being a Gladiator, it does have a truck bed here. Tell it's super light. I like the recovery points here on the bottom. I think those are pretty cool. But yeah, I mean the Mojave package, especially with this green, it's a pretty good looking truck. And then this is an interesting Gladiator, I think. So you've got the orange stitching inside, pretty normal. It's not so normal are these seats. <laughs> Very interesting coloration. If you're wondering, payload on this is 1,043 pounds. Look at this on the vent, the dash. And start it up. Ooh. Since this is a 23, it doesn't have the new screen, which I prefer this screen personally. Um, this has stuff like dual zone climate, heated seats, heated steering wheel as well. With the Mojave, you only have a rear locking differential, but you still have Offroad Plus. And then we've got the two-speed transfer case with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's not like fully loaded. It's missing some options. It doesn't have like the top insulation, for example, but you know, it's got quite a bit. So anyways, before we take it out, here's our window stickers. You can see 2023. And with the options, yeah, it is Sarge Green. Uh, 65,000 and 175 is the MSRP. So here's the deal. Uh, right now with Gladiators, they have 25% off of MSRP. So it's like almost $17,000 with this one. But if you buy two Gladiators, then technically, you know, between the two, you're getting 50% off of MSRP. So for example, the advertising they've been doing here is buy one, get one 50% off because, you know, technically if you pay full MSRP for one of them and you did the rebates on the other one, then you're 50% off te technically. I know it's, it's advertising, advertising, advertising. Anyways, let's take this out, drive it and talk about you know, with the 25% discount, where this stands in the midsize pickup truck world and if it's worth it. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood, both the mirrors, and throughout the rear. Also, we got a window, it's manual, but you can open it up. So let's set off in this heavily discounted Gladiator. It's no, uh, what's the word for it? can't think today um there's no hiding right that, that's what we'll go with there's no hiding the fact that gladiators kind of have been sitting for some time i mean it's the 2024 model year and we even have some 25s out with some manufacturers and jeep still has quite a bit of 2023 gladiator inventory so they've released some heavy discounts on the gladiator the discount scheme right now is 
25% off of uh, MSRP, which is huge. Um, now, the advertising that they've been doing here, which I think is super smart, has been buy one, get one 50% off, which that's technically, you know, if you pay full MSRP for one and it's 25% off rebate, then yeah, you're, you're buying one and you're getting one for half off, or you could just buy each of them for 25% off of uh, MSRP. But that puts the Gladiator in a completely different world, right? $65,000 in the midsize pickup truck world today, or let's just look at the pickup truck world. 65 grand. Uh, that's the base price of the new Tacoma TRD Pro. That is more expensive than a Ford Ranger Raptor. That is about $5,000 less money than the new Ram RHO uh, base MSRP. 65 grand is, I mean, you could get a nice Trail Boss. Um, Ford's increase of Raptor prices so much you couldn't get an F-150 Raptor for anywhere near that anymore. You could get an F-150 Tremor lower down package. So like at 65 grand, there's a lot of competition and some of it you could argue is better than the uh, Gladiator at $65,000. But with 25% off, that makes the Gladiator less than $50,000 with this particular one. You're looking at like $48,000 roughly, if my math is correct, it's probably not, but somewhere around there. That's the price of, that's $2,000 more than an SR5 Tacoma. That is the price of, a, you know, a couple thousand dollars more than like a Z71 Colorado, Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. So, and, and there's not like, in terms of full-size pickup trucks, you know, roughly $50,000 is basically gonna buy you a base model work truck. When you look at it from that perspective of, you know, the pricing with the discount, then what you'll see is that this is actually a pretty solid value. Again, Fox shocks, rear locking differential, 33 inch tall tires, solid axles, front and rear, mid-size pickup truck, you know, heated seats, heated steering wheel, nice interior. Um, it's, I'm not gonna say it's the, you know, value of the century, it's the best buy ever, but that's that's pretty appealing. That's, that's you know, how this is packaged out with where the pricing's at. This one even has the nicer kind of door panel trim too, I'm noticing. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty appealing. So let me know you guys think about this 25% off rebate or the buy one, get one 50% off, whatever way you want to look at it. Uh, do you think that it makes the Gladiator worth it at that point? You know, uh, it, this is obviously a Mojave, but if you did the 25% off on like a sport or something, you're, yeah, pretty, I mean, what, you're in the $30,000 range? Like is at that point, it, does the Gladiator make sense to you? Does it make sense when it's a sub $50,000 vehicle for a Mojave or a sub $40,000 vehicle for a sport? Let me know what you think about that and let me know what you think about it compared to other, like would this sway you to buy this over another mid-sized pickup truck or would you still go with the new Ranger, a new Tacoma, you know, that you could get like a Ranger FX4, uh, yeah, FX4 with the XLT package for like 46, roughly. So there's a lot of comparisons I can make. But that's all.